The Kokanee beer is known for its really fast reflexes. The trick is to be lightning quick. Ever since I was a kid, all I wanted to be was an explorer. Sail the seven seas, find new worlds. But Uncle D, everything's already been found. What? Like everything? Well, yeah. Oh, man. Well, so much for that. But if I can't be an explorer, I can still be an adventurer. So I bought a motorhome, and I'm hitting the open road. My name is Dustin Porter, and this is Destination Adventure. You may have noticed recently that I had an adventure planned and it didn't quite work out. As you can tell, I'm now going downhill. I stopped in at a zipline place and they said I definitely won't make it in the motorhome. The plan was to hike up to the Kokanee Glacier and drink a Kokanee beer right on the ice where the photo for the label was taken. I did my research and started to drive in, but the 16 kilometer stretch between the highway and the trailhead was way too treacherous for the motorhome, so I had to turn around. Really disappointed. After I released that video, I got a very generous message from one of my viewers offering to rent me a car to get me up to the trailhead. So I'm back in Nelson and I'm gonna bag that peak. This is a funny thing people do. You put chicken wire around so that the porcupines don't eat your brake lines. This is a rental, so. Sounds like this hike is about 10 kilometers each way. The first half of the way up is pretty well groomed trail and then sounds like once you hit the alpine it's pretty much just freestyle to the summit Trees are getting thin, getting close to the alpine. Look at that view, unbelievable. It's getting a little bit chilly up here. Well, I guess this is where the freestyling begins. I've heard it gets quite difficult, so we'll see. Oh, that's cold. Oh, God. <sighs> Glaciers are kind of a weird thing because I'm standing on top of probably 20 or 30 feet of ice, but I can hear the water running underneath it. Oh. 
Oh my god. Oh. Oh wow. Oh. Well, this is the top. I guess now we just have to find some kokanee beers in the kokanee glacier. Here, kokanee, 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 kokanee. Here, kokanee. Should have practiced my kokanee call before coming up here. Here, kokanee. Oh, I see one. Kokanee beer is known for its really fast reflexes. The trick is to be lightning quick. Mmm. It's cold. <laughs> trying to warm up in this little shelter here. Nice little spot. It's very cold up here. Lucky for me, oh, I found two kokanee beers. <laughs> warm up for a little bit and then head down. Goodbye, kokanee glacier. Thanks for the beers. just started to rain slash snow really want to get off this peak here because it is very cold I really froze my fingers up there and now they're starting to warm up. Look at how swollen they are. Look at those sausages. Feeling better though. It's a big one. I'm on my way back down right now and I just found a cave. Can't tell if it's man-made or natural, but got a little time here, so I think we'll drop down and check it out. Just squeeze in. Wow, it's a mine shaft.
I think we might be one of the last ones to ever see this one. The whole entrance is pretty much caved in. distance 20.1 kilometers I am exhausted not exactly sure what car this is it's a Subaru something but I'm very impressed with it really nice ride great traction decent clearance good job Subaru just back in Nelson I think I'm gonna get a little something to eat and probably go to bed. Peace.